This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitau. Global soft drinks titan Coca-Cola has pledged to invest nearly 3 billion shillings upgrading their Nairobi factory. Work on the modernization project is scheduled to start next year. The deal is among the fruits of President William Ruto's state visit to the U.S. More partnerships such as Basketball Powerhouse and BA partnering with Equity Bank to support the sports growth in Kenya are anticipated. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. When Henry Moshiri ventured into beekeeping in 2016, he was doing it out of passion. He settled on his three-acre parcel with his family in Kona Baridi, Kajado West in 1997. Mushiri, who served as an accountant for the government, was keen to look for something to do once he retired. He tried several things such as farming apples, maize and vegetables, but cheeky monkeys would however invade his farms. As he grappled with how to find an alternative, a friend taught him how to prepare beehives. After months of grueling treatment, Kenyan children who survive cancer often face another cruel reality, stigma from former friends, some relatives and members of their community. Many are forced to repeat classes and don't want to return to school because classmates, even some teachers, want to avoid them. These findings are contained in a new study that explores the challenges child cancer survivors face as they try to reintegrate into society. In your free copy of the star this Tuesday, a story is told of Kasim Zero, the only son of a polygamous family at the coast who has known nothing but struggled throughout his 45 years. Early in life, he was plunged into responsibility, the cultural norm of the Mijikenda community in Ganza, Kilifi County. He struggled through education and completed high school at Ganza Secondary in 1999, two years after his father retired. Kasim, who worked as a cleaner in the early 2000s, says he never for a single moment had 1,000 shillings in his pocket all that while. Men will not be legally responsible for their wives' income tax obligations if a 50-year law is repealed. The Finance Bill 2024 tabled last week in the Parliament proposes to delete the definition of a wife's employment, income, professional and self-employment income rate from the Act. The proposed changes a clean-up provision to reflect societal changes where everyone is liable to their taxes. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.